YouTube. What's up, y'all? My name is John. Come back at y'all with another video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to trim your own hair. You know, it really tickles me to see that some of y'all think y'all have an option to get y'all trims. Like, are they really for real, bro? Y'all tripping. Let me explain something to you, bruh. Trimming is mandatory. It's required. That's like mama just told you to wash the dishes. What you gonna do? You gonna tell her no? You trying to die? Not getting trims is like breaking the law of curly hair. Of hair in general. And as your boy, I ain't gonna allow that, bro. But don't worry, man. I ain't gonna hit you or put you in jail or anything. Nah. That's too soft. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze your kneecaps, dude. Play with me if you want to. But anyways, trimming your hair is an essential part to healthy hair and length retention. Trimming gets rid of split ends, and if you have split ends, the ends naturally catch on each other and creates tangles and knots, which in return makes it hard for you to style your hair. You will experience more breakage and shedding. Like, it's just really, really bad, okay? So just make sure you get your trims. And don't be acting scary when doing this, dude. Like, it's not that bad. Like, the worst that could happen is you cut off on your hair. <laughs> Yeah, don't do that. And this is a highly requested video, so make sure you show your boy some love by leaving a like on this video. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. Let's get it! Alright, so the tools you're gonna need today is first some hair shears. For the love of all things that is good, please do not use craft scissors, my dude. This is not no game, bruh. This is life or death, alright? Regular scissors just aren't sharp enough, bruh, and using them can really damage your ends. You want blunt, accurate cuts to every strand. Next, I like to use a wide tooth comb, followed by a detangling brush, and then a rat tail comb. And you know your boy got you. Everything will be linked in the description box below. When doing a trim, I suggest you work on blow dried hair, mainly because it's a lot easier and you get more of an accurate cut because wet hair tends to stretch more than dried hair which in return may cause you to cut more hair than you need to and then the next thing you know you bald headed yeah you played yourself but i got a full video showing you guys how to blow dry your hair in the fastest easiest and healthiest way possible make sure you go check it out if you haven't already all right so i start by unraveling one of my twists i work on one section and pin the other one away next we're going to detangle starting with a wide tube comb and working our way down to the rat tail comb if you've been following me you should automatically know when detangling your hair you always work from your ends and up to your roots if you didn't know that then you're lost young one i'm gonna need you to walk towards the light and hit the subscribe button in my G. Now, when detangling, make sure you use all the tools and don't just try to skip to the rat tail comb, bruh. Stop being impatient and slow your fast butt down, dude. Because more times than not, there's still gonna be tangles and knots and you'll just end up ripping out more hair than you need to. Now, once you work your way down to the rat tail comb, this is where I'm gonna need you to dial in, my boy. I'm talking fourth quarter, a minute left on the clock, and you down by two type of focus. At this part, you need to really pay attention to the texture of your hair because this is how you're gonna tell how much you need to trim off. The top portion of your hair is gonna be nice and smooth when you comb through, and then once you get to the damaged ends, it's gonna be very rough and you're gonna feel a lot of resistance. Like, your hair is literally gonna be fighting back, bruh. Damaged ends are equivalent to dudes with black Air Force Ones. They're ruthless. You're gonna start by running your comb through that section a few more times just to make sure that it's not tangled again. And once you notice that the comb continuously stops at the same point, that is called the tension point. And at the tension point, you will be able to visually see the split ends and single strand knots. And that's where you cut at. To trim it off, I'm going to put my hair in between my middle finger and pointing finger, above the knuckle so I can have the most control. I keep my fingers straight up and down because I like to have layers, which gives me a lot more volume. But if you don't want layers, just flatten your hair out and have your fingers go straight across horizontally. And then I just trim off the dead ends, making sure to keep a mental note of how much I'm cutting and try to cut off the same amount every time. When I finish, I do the same to the other section, then twist both sections back up and continue the same steps throughout the rest of my hair. Now, when doing trim, I usually cut about a half inch to an inch but again everyone's situation is different so cut however much is needed a lot of you guys also ask me how often you should trim your hair now trims is just one of those things you really can't schedule especially when you're trying to grow out your hair when starting out my hair journey I literally grew out my hair for a whole year before I got my first trim yeah don't don't do that. To know when to get a trim, you just have to pay attention to your hair. And best believe, your hair will give you all types of signs letting you know that, hey, bruh, 
trim me dude when it starts to become really hard to detangle and detangling takes you all day i'm talking stupid long and then on top of that you start to see single strand knots and split ends and let's say you spend all that time styling your hair and your hairstyle still ain't popping especially like you used to if you going through all that then you sir are in need of a trim and maybe even a therapist personally i trim my hair every four to six months because i'm still growing my hair but if i just wanted to maintain a certain length i would get trims more often but overall you just need to make sure that you stay on top of your trim so that your hair is as healthy as possible now trimming your hair comes with a lot of benefits as well like less frizz it makes it a lot easier to detangle it gives your hair a fuller look you deal with less breakage and you retain way more length in the long run as a result of having healthy hair i can tell i did a really good job with trimming my hair when i can hold a section of hair and 95 percent of the strands can be held at the ends and it looks thick all the way through and just to explain a little bit more i cut my hair in layers that's how i achieve so much volume in my hairstyle to do this at the center of my head i hold my hair straight up at 90 degrees and on the sides holding my hair diagonally this creates layers because when you hold your hair diagonally the top section gets a little bit shorter while the bottom section is cut longer creating that nice round effect when wearing your hair out and there you have it a successful trim all the way through here's what my hair looked like before and as you can see now my hair is so much fuller it looks super thick it's way easier to detangle i retain a lot more length and my hair just looks healthier overall remember trims are mandatory you gotta do it bruh but don't worry it's not as scary as it may seem literally anyone can do this it's really not that hard bruh and learning how to do this yourself is going to save you so much money overall plus you're in complete control of how much you trim off for example this is how much i trimmed off altogether, which is really not a lot at all and to be honest i usually cut even less than this on average a little trim can make a huge difference bruh but thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later. Peace!